Dr. Mike Adenugo Jr., GCON, at 66. As a faithful servant, an engaging entrepreneur, a passionate philanthropist, dedicated realist, and reformer who can bridge all gulfs, level all mountains, and put a lamp in every tunnel, exemplified by his selfless service to Nigeria, his fatherland, as seen in his contributions to the growth of the economy of the country. Dr. Mike Adenuga Jr. has undoubtedly come to be seen as a modern-day phenomenon whose couples requires a large canvas. Though having blue blood running in his veins, Adenuga, who celebrated his 66th birthday on Monday the 29th of April 2019, was neither born great nor had some greatness thrust upon him. Rather, he belongs to a category of people whom the greatest dramatist, William Shakespeare, would describe as someone who achieved greatness by dint of hard work and striving tirelessly, given the right leadership and work environment to remain on top of his businesses. A son of a disciplinarian school teacher, the young Michael apparently realized early in life that even coming from a noble background, since his mother hailed from a royal family, is no guarantee of any particular merit, competence or expertise and decided to take his destiny in his own hands by embracing Western education. This perhaps explains why he chose entrepreneurship as a career over the classroom where his father had excelled and pursued a white-collar job that was in vogue upon graduation from the university, a decision that made a difference in his journey and brought him wealth, fame and influence in the society. Significantly, his venture into the lucrative but volatile oil and gas industry marked the beginning of his success in business. Along the line, he diversified into a highly innovative and capital-intensive world of telecommunications, which has made a tremendous impact on the lives of many people to the extent that Adenuga and his company Globacom are now household names, not only in Nigeria, but across the globe. A man of immense vitality, integrity, honesty, few words, strong character, and with the fear of God, Adenuga must have imbibed one of the popular axioms of the current richest man on earth, Jeff Bezos, that one of the only ways to get out of a tight box is to invent your own way out. Bezos, an American and founder of Amazon, has an estimated net worth of $170 billion, according to the latest ranking by the influential Forbes magazine. Currently ranked the second richest person in Nigeria and also the second richest black man in the world by Forbes, with estimated net worth of $9.4 billion as of February 2019. Adenuga, going by the remarkable successes recorded by his chain of businesses in the past few decades, has not only demonstrated his abiding faith in brand Nigeria, but proven to many that the black man can hold his head high in any chosen endeavor and still play by the global practices. But it was not a smooth sail for the business mogul before he joined the exclusive billionaires club. Born on April 29, 1953, to Oluye Michael Agboladi Adenuga Sr., who was a school teacher, Anomoba Juliana Oyindamola Adenuga, Ni Onashile of Okesokni, Ijebuibu of Ogun State, a businesswoman of real Ijebu descent, Adenuga attended Ibadan Grammar School, Ibadan in Oyo State, and Comprehensive High School Ayetoro, Ogun State, for his higher school certificates. However, his quest for higher education and the proverbial greener pastures saw him leaving the shores of Nigeria for the United States of America. As a student there, it is on record that he worked as a taxi driver to help fund his university education. He graduated from the Northwestern Oklahoma State University and Pace University, New York, with degrees in business administration. And upon his return to his fatherland, he entered the unpredictable world of business, where he has towered above his peers to the satisfaction of many. His blossoming career, one recalls, started in 1990 when he received a drilling license from the regime of the military president, Ibrahim Babangida. Subsequently, his consolidated oil company struck oil in the waters of Ondo State, in the southwest geopolitical zone, and the first indigenous oil company to do so in commercial quantity in 1991. Besides, he owns the Mike Adenuga group of companies comprising former Equatorial Trust Bank, Cobblestone Properties and Estates, a real estate and property development company, Corn Oil PLC, Petroleum Marketing Company, and Corn Oil Producing, a crude exploration and production firm. But it is in the telecommunications sector 
that perhaps the business Magu had made the greatest impact. In 1999, he was issued a conditional global system for mobile communications GSM network license, which was later revoked. He received a second license when the Nigerian government held another auction in 2003. Having done his homework properly, his telecom company Globacom hit the ground running, spreading rapidly and immediately challenged the dominance of the South African giants, MTN Group, in the Nigerian market. Globacom Limited, founded on August 29, 2003 by Adenuga, in no time came up with revolutionary services, including per second billing, which Nigerian subscribers were initially told by the first two entrants in the sector, MTN and Econet, now Airtel, was impossible, a situation they endured for two years. That singular innovation by Glow immediately endeared the company to thousands of subscribers who in turn embraced it wholeheartedly through massive patronage. To date, the company has offered direct employment to more than 3,500 people and indirect jobs to hundreds of thousands others worldwide. It had over 45 million subscribers as at December 28, which makes the company the second largest network operator in Nigeria, a feat said to have been made possible by the dynamic and focused leadership of the Globacom chairman and the management team, headed by his daughter, Mrs. Bella Disu, executive vice chairman. Indeed, analysts had attributed Glow's effective massive telecommunication services and its ability to overcome the stiff competition continuously composed by MTN Nigeria to the business acumen and adequated funding provided by Adenuga, without which the company could not have withered the storm. Also, due to his dynamism in business operations, Glow Mobile now operates in four countries in West Africa, namely Nigeria, Republic of Benin, Ghana, and Cote d'Ivoire. In addition, his passion for information and telecommunications technology, according to some analysts, resulted in successful lay of Glow One submarine cable from the United Kingdom to Nigeria. Glow is the first individual African company to implement such a project. Now is the time when we can provide our country with clearer lines as well as high quality internet bandwidth to any global destination at really affordable prices. I promise you, no one else can do this because no one else has a submarine cable to Europe and onto America connected to his own massive national network. Yes, sir. This is the time when we as Nigerians can start to compete with the rest of the world on an equal footing. A pillar of sports and entertainment as well as a cultural ambassador across Africa, Adenuga for his numerous attainments and meritorious service to humanity has been recognized at home and abroad. For instance, he has backed the Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger, GCON, which is Nigeria's second highest national honor for a civilian who is not in government. Ghana's highest civil award, the Companion of the Star of Ghana, CSG, and the African Entrepreneurship Award of the Year at the first African Telecoms Award, ATA, in August 2007. Significantly, also, the Digital Guru has been conferred with France's highest national award of the Commander of the Legion of Honor by the French President, Emmanuel Macron, who described Adenuga as a true role model for Africa and one with incomparable spirit of entrepreneurship, tenacity and ability to think out of the box. He further applauded Adenuga's contributions to the growth of the African and French economy and for the promotion of the French language and culture in Nigeria. He gave kudos also to Mrs. Bella Disu, who conceived, coordinated and executed the Alliance Francais projects. Also, GLOW under Adenuga's watch continues to sponsor prominent festivals in the country, including the Ayo Festival in Lagos State, Ujudeoba Festival in Ogun State, and Ofala Festival in Anambra State. As part of the measures to promote the nation's cultural heritage, Globacom also has invested heavily in entertainment and social interventions in Nigeria and Africa at large. For instance, it is the biggest promoter of Nollywood which has helped to project our country on the global entertainment scene. As well as sports in Africa, GLOW has been sponsoring the annual Confederations of African Football Awards, 
now elevated to a major event in the global football calendar. Dr. Adenuga holds a Yoruba chieftaincy title, the Otumba Abesin of the Ijebu clan in Ogun State, and he is married and blessed with lovely children.